All right, all right, Dave Call here, and I'm going to go over briefly some of this shadow box, and mostly it's going to be reviewing the code that you will be able to download. I'm going to make sure you have that link on the YouTube. So what shadow box is doing, it allow you to display images, YouTube, display a hosted movie allow you to display Vimeo and audio playing an mp3 and also a PDF and finally a website so it's got plenty of media that it can host okay so how that's gonna work is right here what you want to pay attention to is we have the documents library now you have the embed media that is the HTML file and you have the shadow box folder just copy this as is that'll be good enough to use you have the PDF file you have the images file and I have some audio file right here so what that looks like in Dreamweaver is this here. By the way, if you insert a thumbnail and you don't hit border, by the border is nothing by the way, but if you hit zero, then it gets rid of that blue bar. First thing, flute plate. I'm gonna to go to the code view here. I know this looks like a mess, but I'll try to go over it. The first section you want is to load up your shadow box script, and that's done here and it's loading up a JavaScript and a CSS which is how it gets laid out. Here we have uh, the CSS body, main container, stuff like that. And here's where the code is. To display a fruit image, what I have here is this. Actually, I don't even need that. You can get rid of that. We have images fruit decal REL shadow box gallery with 1280 by 720 and the shadow box gallery means that you can put things in a row just by hitting the left and right arrows you can go to the next element there and after this we have doing YouTube and there are ways to get YouTube work and basically you embed the code and I have that in my website how you have to do all that right there again using shadow box gallery and here the player is SWF, means the Flash player. Over here we have faculty pages, scad edu, my own hosted movie that's hosted on my website, and then Shadowbox Gallery, and then displaying how wide and tall it is. The next one here is showing Vimeo. Now the way Vimeo works is that you copy the embed code, and this is the old embed code, and you want it to look like Moogaloop. This is all on my website as well. I think it's class 18. So now we have audio. So we're using audio funk mp3. I made the width 300 and the height 15 pixels. And here we have a PDF, PDF resume, and then width and height. And finally we have hosting a website, which is kind of cool. So here's the link for the website. And again, shadow box gallery, 1,000 by 6,000. So the deal with shadow box is that you can do a, a lot of fun things with it. So for instance, say I want to grab a YouTube video. I can go into YouTube, and let's just say I want to embed this thing here. So what you do is you go to share, I'm going to copy this, and then I want to put it into Dreamweaver, and I'm just going to replace it with uh, this YouTube here. I'm going to paste this. By the way, I want to leave the ampersand autoplay equals one, and I want to paste the YouTube in there. Now what I have to do is get rid of the watch question mark, and leave the V, and get rid of the equal sign and put a slash. Now when I preview that, 
show you how that's going to look here. This now shows the new video. So it's pretty easy. You just have to follow a few things, getting the watch thing and putting a slash. Now let's go to Vimeo. Try that out. Vimeo. Okay, so we'll pull this up. And then I'll go to embed, open that. And here's the old embed code, so we copy that. Go back into Dreamweaver, paste this, and we will take the value. We'll take this over to here, copy this. It's got the Moogle loop in there, so you know it'll work. Basically go into Vimeo here and paste this in and we'll try it out. Okay, so here's the new video and that is hosted with Vimeo. The audio, PDFs, and websites are pretty straightforward so that would do it. So the important thing in here is to make sure that you work with this embed media page and copy it and then find the things that you need out of it.